Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video uh, we are going to have a look at the experiences in terms of career and relationship that your star sign is going to have throughout the upcoming week, uh, August 10th to uh, August 16th, 2020. <clears throat> and you are into Tarot, probably you do know that Tarot is divided by a major and minor arcana and arcana means knowledge, so anybody can learn um, to, to read Tarot. And uh, if you like the way I read and you want to learn it from me, uh, you can purchase the 12 hours tarot class uh, that uh, I'm offering. And in this class, uh, you are going to be introduced to a four card, very special to me spread because I do use it uh, in almost all of my professional uh, readings because it's amazing. <clears throat> and it's also a uh, major arcana friendly, meaning that you can use just only the uh, the major arcanas with it. Uh, so that spread, uh, that what comes with it, it is the explanation of all the major arcana in terms of all of the positions of the spread and in terms of career and relationship. So pretty much you do have it uh, all covered there. And on top of that, at the end of the class, uh, you are gonna get as well a one hour one-on-one -on -one class with me just so I can make sure that uh, you uh, digested all of the information and you are set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings. The links to the, the <clears throat> I'm sorry, the link to the class is uh, listed down below as well as a link to my website in case you do want to uh, purchase a, a personal uh, reading with me. So that being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. All right. So, uh, let's have a look how Gemini are to uh, Sun, Moon and as well Rising, that is, are to experience their uh, upcoming week in terms of a, a love and career. So the first thing that we're going to have a look at uh, is going to be your love situation, guys. And let me shuffle the cards. And uh, let's see what you got. Right, so the first card that we do have for you, that is going to be Justice, followed by the Seven of uh, Swords. Oh my God, that's... Uh, with the Moon card. And the last one for you, that is to be the Page of Pentacles. I don't know how you are to accept this, guys. Uh, but I am entitled to say whatever I see in the cards. And... Uh, I'll try to do it in the milder way, but although there is only one truth or kind of like if there is only one truth, there is only one way to say it. Otherwise, it's not the truth. So the milder way to say it, it is that you are expecting way too much from either your uh, your marriage or from either your relationship or from either your, you know, person of interest. Uh, the rough way to say it, it is that you are unfair in regards to them in general. So this week it's all about uh, kind of like setting yourself or maintaining yourself into balance, understanding that some of your um, expectations or some of your wishes, demands and etc. etc. are simply either unachievable with that specific person that is, or they are simply not fair, okay? Uh, having the Seven of Swords here into the second position, especially having the Justice of the first one, it's it's exactly what it is. So, um, what the week is going to be all about, it is how you and whomever you are involved with, should you be involved with someone, it is how you are adopting the balance of pulling your weight within the relationship itself, undertaking the responsibilities that anybody needs to undertake, while you do not cross a, a line, you do not infiltrate their personal uh, space, nor they infiltrate your personal space. Just to give you an example, you do not ask them where they're gonna go out this evening, because it is their business of where they're going out. That is just for example, okay? So that whole change into environment uh, is going to make you uh, rather feel uncertain, especially those that are a controlling Gemini, so feel very like, kind of like hopeless or rather like helpless to 
proceed with the relationship or the word is to control the relationship. So they're, they're going to start feeling that they're losing a grip over. But without you knowing it, actually you are healing that relationship moving forward and you are placing that relationship in such a path that the relationship needs to be. Okay, so all of your, uh, how can I say, concerns that your partner may start cheating on you uh, if you do not um, exert control over them, over your text, for example, texts, for example, over where they are going, over their behavior, and etc., etc., should die. I mean, those those kind of like suspicious should die. For if if they decide to cheat on you, you can't stop them, no matter how much control you exert. And should you let go of this predisposition, you are to find yourself much free than you were before. And uh, that itself is going to bring uh, this new behavior within the relationship is going to bring a new, um, how can I say, new wind, new fresh air within it. And I would say that uh, if you kind of like have a uh, opinion that your relationship is rather stifled, uh, should you think over the words that I just said, uh, you may find that a big reason for that is you. And I'm sorry saying it, but it is what the card shows. Uh, it could relate to just, you know, only one thing there, only one enterprise, not the entire aspects of the relationship. But nonetheless, you have to understand that sometimes you cannot have it your way, guys. And uh, by uh, as you do understand that and as you kind of fix that kind of behavior, this is going to make your relationship fly forward. Okay. So that week is not about love, not by a large margin. That week is all about how compatible you are. And of course, uh, you may say right now that, you know, the hell with it, you know, you either going to get what you want or it's not going to be other way around. Well, you have to, in that particular case, consider the possibility that you may not be able ever to get what you want with the person you are with. Okay, so it's all about aligning for what you can get instead of one thing, the impossible with that person, okay? Those that are single, uh, should they change uh, their behavior, they actually are going to understand that the love is much closer than they think they are. And again, changing their understanding, it is kind of like understanding that their criteria may not be met soon enough. And if they puts the efforts behind changing some of their criteria. For example, that is most trivial, trivial example here. One thing your um, next or future husband or wife to have to be wealthy, to be handsome, to have an, an amazing family uh, and to be caref uh, careful or kind of like attending and etc. etc. You can't have it all. So you need to make certain compromises. And that is what you need to think over throughout the week that it is coming. So that was your uh, love tarot reading. Not the best one though. I mean, not the uh, the best experience ever, but it is what it is. It, you are free to believe or disbelieve uh, those, uh, those tarot cards. Uh, now we are moving to the uh, career reading and let's see what we got there. So the first one in terms of your career, we do have the Ace of Pentacles followed by the Queen of Cups. Uh, moving next, we do have the Ten of Swords and the last one for you, uh, Gemini, is going to be the Page of Wands. So pretty much uh, this reading is pretty straightforward in terms of career. Now, this week, it is the time of action in regards to whatever plans you have, in regards to whatever deals you are planning to strike. Okay, it may seem rather very risky, but in reality it isn't. Now this week in terms of your career, you are going to have your opportunity to pretty much manifest your goal or start, if you will, manifesting your goal. The week is going to be all about 
successful business maneuvers. It could be about successful uh, business establishments, successful uh, projects undertaking, successful investments, whatever is to make you lucrative, but you have to be extremely decisive, okay? No shred of hesitation needs to be sensed on your part. Like when you are striking a deal, you have to be pretty firm and kind of like pretty, uh, what is the English word about that? Um, like again, you know, decisive when you strike your contract or when you display, you know, your conditions and you should not second guess, uh, second guess yourself. Trying to, uh, because otherwise what happens is that you may uh, lose yourself into your thoughts, trying to overthink, you know, the situation, trying to overthink, for example, the new job offer or the project that it is offered to you or, or the business deal. And it's, and it's just a short, uh, you do have a short window here to strike the best deal ever. Otherwise, um, the other person may kind of like figure out how, disadva how disadvantageous they are with those conditions and change the conditions the uh, at the end of the week and then you know you are going to be not left empty-handed but not as uh, uh, beneficial as you could have been when you decisively sign up the contract take the job you know or undertake the um, uh, the project itself so um, the ten of swords refers to that particular uh, decisiveness here uh, what could be exactly the things that may um, stop you of being such decisive it because at the start it will seem that you have to invest way too much you know when when the, when the thing comes about it you may think that you are giving up on on a lot on your behalf in order to undertake the new job or the new project or to establish your business uh, but should you do it uh, you are to see that actually you are signing up for a new era in your life which according to the uh, prime of the reading here which is the ace of pentacles it is the successful era uh, in uh, in your career life and uh, as the ace of pentacles we do have a certain symbols there which points that your maneuvers are rather protected from failure that is so where the, uh, that thing uh, whole goes to well with uh, the last card that we do have which is the page of wands it shows that uh, you are to invoke um, in your career life uh, many new enterprises which you are to uh, have a great experience with additionally to that many many wonderful newses or news are to come to your um, to your attention the news that you're going to be paid out are uh, the news that you're going to get promoted the news that you that your business have been established successful and etc etc and additionally to that you are to understand how strong you are uh, in reality into your a business field or the the the, the field that you are working at uh, at that particular stage but that is once again only if you do not second guess your um initial maneuvers so those that the, those that are single uh, these cards here particularly speak for a uh, some kind of a job that comes around but it will have once again a very very small window of you to uh, pretty much agree to it because if you do not either the job is going to go away or the conditions are to change which are not going to be that beneficial for you anymore and the job itself gives you the opportunity to climb higher like it is a job with a progress with a level of progress you may start as an errand boy boy i'm sorry but at the end end up as a ceo or cfo or whatever so that being said, uh, Gemini, this was your weekly tarot readings, guys, in terms of a uh, love and career. Hopefully you do enjoy them and you like them and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.